Egypt, meanwhile, says that dozens of its troops have arrived back in Cairo. 27 others, though, are still at the Egyptian embassy in Sudan. Egypt, Egypt says its troops were in Sudan for training amid growing tensions with Ethiopia. Well, to talk more about that, we're joined by Egyptian affairs expert and independent commentator Nirvana Mahmoud. Uh, great to see you again, Nirvana. Um, and it seems that the UAE had a role in securing the Egyptian soldiers' release. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, uh, Laura, um, uh, the uh, president of Egypt and the president of the United Arab Emirates had a phone call uh, earlier today, and they both com uh, confirmed that uh, the Emirati mediation has helped uh, to release um, uh, the soldiers which were captured by the rapid support forces uh, led by General Hamdati in Sudan. It seems that Egypt uh, was really caught off guard by these very volatile events in Sudan. Would you say that's a fair assessment? Uh, I would dispute that, Laura. Um, the uh, New York Times published a very interesting report uh, saying that uh, both uh, army leaders, the leader of the Sudanese army and the leader of the RSF, dined with the Western mediators uh, only a few days before the start of the conflict, promising all sorts of compromises. But on the background, they were planning all that uh, without telling anyone. Uh, uh, and if anything, what happened to the Egyptian show or prove that Egypt were genuinely, uh, was genuinely uh, uh, just involved in the joint military uh, uh, exercises. I chronicle Egypt news every week for years, and every year there is a joint military exercise or a naval exercise with Sudan uh, as part of Egypt's strategic security, regional security. So if Egypt was prepared or expecting that the RSF will turn against its soldiers, which were a few hundreds, by the way, uh, it will be prepared far better than what happened. Uh, uh, Egypt, of course, is, is watching very closely what is going on in its southern neighbour. Uh, how might it be affected? Well, uh, obviously, uh, let's just not make any mistake. What is happening is not going to be solved in few hours or few days. Uh, I am old enough to remember that every crisis in the Middle East started with optimism that it will finish very quickly and it didn't. From the war in 1948 between the Arab and the Israelis till today, nothing ended in the Middle East. What we see in Libya before, what we saw in uh, in Syria before, is now we are seeing in Sudan. So of course, a collapse or a potential collapse of Sudan or a weaker Sudan as a state is a bad news to Egypt. Bad news for the economy of Egypt, who have a lot of links with Sudan, bad news for the military cooperation and the strategic alliance between the two countries in the region, and also bad news because Egypt fought terrorism and radicalism in Sinai. And if you remember, Laura Al Qaeda had bases in Sudan mm. years ago. So now, if if the radical Islamists return in Sudan, that's again bad news for Egypt. However, if I may say, there is something good in disguise from what happening. A lot of foreign players have been involved in Sudan. Egypt is just one of them. And the rule of Egypt was public to everyone. Now the Egyptian soldiers have left Sudan. I think people of Sudan and the international community will see that Egypt now is not the mediator or is not the one who is behind the unrest. The rest mm -hmm. from now on will not be on Egypt watch.